Hi, I'm Emily. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Fulcrum's auto scheduler. The schedule pulls data from across Fulcrum to create the most efficient schedule possible. To learn more about where this data is pulling from, check out some of our other videos. But in this video, we're just going to be focusing on scheduling. To give you some insight into how this is all calculated, these algorithms are essentially pulling apart the dependency string of all your operations, balancing priority levels, due dates, and capacity constraints to get the most work out the door on time as possible while also reducing WIP. So it's doing a lot. It's a really powerful tool that can compute thousands of jobs and tens of thousands of operations in minutes. Now, let's jump into scheduling. Okay, so to orient you to the screen a bit, each column here is a piece of equipment, and each card is an individual operation with, with some important detail on it, like runtime, due date, and priority level. So this is basically the schedule for each piece of equipment. There's some easy search and filter, and there's important data sprinkled throughout, like percentage late, backlog dates and hours, and we also show the full schedule order of a particular job here, as well as estimated end time. So the important thing to remember here is that the schedule will update in real time from the job tracker. So as new jobs come in or as job priorities change, the schedule will update as well. Okay, so for our first example, let's say that customer for order 1032 would like to receive their order sooner. We go into the job, adjust the due date, then we go back to the schedule and refresh it and we can see that job 1032 has moved up in priority. Now let's say that job 1028, we'd like to adjust the priority level from moderate to high. We go into the job and adjust the priority, refresh the schedule, and we can see that job 1028 has moved up in the queue. So as you can see, the schedule is constantly automatically updating with new information. The last thing that I'll touch on is the option to set up drag and drop scheduling. Turn this on in settings, indicate freeze window, and then jump back into the schedule, refresh, and now you'll have the ability to drag and drop cards around within the next 48 hours. Think of this kind of as a hybrid scheduling approach. It'll allow you to manually change things within the freeze window, but everything further out can still be auto scheduled. It's almost as if the scheduler will create the first pass for you, and then you can adjust from there. There's a lot more to scheduling that we haven't covered here, but hopefully this gives you a quick overview. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn more about Fulcrum.